Right, so today I come to Earl White Gym and Fitness. This is one of the other gyms Earl White I love uh, with my friend James. We're going to come originally going to do core and cast, but then we thought, you know what, let's just do legs because we're here. So we're going to do a leg session and um, I'm going to show it to you. First exercise we're going to do is a sumo deadlift, all right? So it's going to be wide stance, okay? It's going to be working your glutes. And always remember to warm up because you don't warm up, you're going to get injured. I've got, a, I'll put a link somewhere so you can watch one of my stretching videos. Anyway, let's get this done. Work those glutes, James. All right, so we've done a couple of warm-up sets. We're gonna do three sets of 10. The tempo is gonna be um, one second up, three seconds down. Okay, step ups, three sets of 10. Um, we're gonna try one second up, a couple seconds down. So when I do these, I'm trying not to push off the back leg, okay, that's touching the floor. I try to just lean forward a little bit and then, then lift off the, the bent leg. So don't be pushing off this leg, you just want to be leaning forward and then just lifting with this one, okay? Okay, legs feeling good after that. Um, step ups really, I feel, it, I feel it like a lot in my quads where I'm leaning forward and just pushing off the leg that's on the box. Um, you really feel it in your quads. Next exercise we're gonna do, leg press. We're gonna have our feet down at the bottom. We're gonna have it close like fist width apart. So what we're gonna do is work on the outside of the quads more and at the bottom. If you go a bit higher, you work on the hamstrings and glutes more, lower quad. And if I have it close, work on the outside. If I have it wider apart, work on the inside. Or just neutral, we can work all over. But we're gonna do close. We're gonna focus on more on these parts. Three seconds up, three seconds down. And we're gonna go for 15 reps. You get to about 10 reps in and your legs start to die. By the way, this whole workout is inspired by Mike Thurston. I follow one of his programs and uh, this is like a leg session for one of his programs. Killer. What I should mention is you bring it back as low as, as soon as your lower back starts to arch. As soon as that starts, that's how you know you put your legs back down as much. If you keep bringing them back and your back keeps the arch, that's how you get lower back problems. As soon as your back starts to arch, that's how far you bring it back. That's how far you need to, and you push back up. See if James does it. So, comes down. See, he'll feel it in his back. His lower back will start to arch about there, and he knows to stop there and push it out. If he keeps going further back and his back continues to arch, that's when he's gonna get lower back trouble. So basically, I thought I'm gonna pass out now. Next exercise, Smith Machine, Bulgarian Split Squats. It's gonna be focused really, it's like a lunge. You're gonna do like a wider stance, You're gonna be focusing really on the glutes and hamstrings. So I'll show you this setup. All right, so you see the benches out there, put it on the back, take a wider stance. 
So my foot is past my knee. Okay? Now you're going to work. This is going to focus more on your glutes and hamstrings. You go down. Try and bring your knee to the floor. Push up. Let's do three seconds down. One second up. Two seconds down. One second up. Lock the knees. Add weight if you can. I forgot to mention 12 reps. This work it gets worse and worse as you go along. I just pass out on the second second set on the first leg. <sighs> Crazy. See, because big man James here weighs like 500 kilos, he doesn't need extra weight. His weight is his giant almost muscle body. And he's doing a crazy variation. He didn't even tell me he was gonna do this. So yeah, look, 500 kilo guy doing jump split squats. James, you have to warn me when you're gonna start doing jumping stuff. I've got I need to the shoulder. Cause I need to, stop, I need to tell the front desk and everyone else to like, when they feel the rumbling, they know what it is, it's not an earthquake. Now I have forgot to mention, look at this guy, he just did some jumps, split squats, and triceps. Forgot to mention, rest period, it's between like 60 and 90 seconds. What we're doing is, kind of as soon as he finishes, uh, I go. But yeah, you can get it to like 60, 90 seconds. Excuse me, I'm gonna pass out. Okay, next exercise, three sets of 10, laying hamstring curls. Obviously, working your hamstrings. Okay, tempo. One second up, hold it for one second, squeeze. Three seconds down. One second up, hold it, one second, squeeze. Three seconds down. Three sets of 10. <laughs> okay, that one done. It's literally getting worse. I'm very close to hitting the floor. <sighs> Crazy. It's what you should feel like when you do leg session. Fucked. This guy as well. I think you think he's taking too much creatine. It's like doing legs plus triceps plus back. <laughs> okay, last exercise. Thankfully, we're going to do heel elevated squats. The reason why my heels are elevated because it's going to focus more on your quads, which we're doing. You can do body weight or whatever, but I'm going to pick... I'm going to pick... I didn't know what weight. Anyway, no more shoulder width, but... Oh, low as you can lay. Oh, it's going up. Three seconds down. Boom! Oh, One, two, three. Boom! Oh. We're going to do three sets of ten. Boom! Oh. Just before he did that set, he said to me, oh, I don't think I can do those because my arm's hurting a bit. So what, if your arm's hurting, how are you doing these? He just couldn't bother doing his legs anymore. So we're done. I feel like it works good. And even though we bite them, we're still going to do calf. I still feel all right. So never do calf if you fuck, there's no point. I still feel like, James still feels like we've got energy to do calf. So we're here. But anyway, like I said, this workout was inspired by Mike Person. If you feel fucked me, do it, blame him. I changed some of the exercises, but he's the guy, he's sick. Anyway, Okay, so let's try and do three to five sets of 12 reps. Tempo, like always, full stretch at the bottom. One second up, hold it for a second. Two seconds down, hold it at the bottom. One second up, hold it at the top. Two seconds down, hold it at the Full stretch, and all the way up to the top.
So I should have mentioned a standing calf raise, the your gastrocnemius, which is the big massive ball of your muscle. And then we're going to do seated calf raise, which works the solis, which is the muscle behind the gastrocnemius, which gives that little bit of width here. Okay, so this one's got the plates, which is wicked. We've got the one over there you can put the, the plates on, the weights, but this one's got the pins, which is quite good. Okay, so seated calf raise, they always say you should go a bit higher, so we'll go 20 reps today. Same thing with calf raise, we've got to go slow, two seconds down, hold it at the bottom. One second up, hold it at the top of the second, two seconds down, all the way to the bottom. That's the tempo. I'll concentrate on the speeds at the top, concentrate on the steps at the bottom. Slow it up, two seconds down. So 20 reps. Oh! You don't bounce it. I see a lot of people bouncing. That's just working your feet's tendons, not doing anything. So nice and controlled. And they start burning shit. Oh. Those calves. Pow! This one's good for the inside bit. Yeah. Concentrate on here and concentrate on your big toe. And then you feel it more on the side bit. Yeah. Look at those. That's crazy. That's crazy. Crazy. Okay. Last exercise, Mr. James Cameraman. We're yeah, going to yeah. the tibia anterior. Tibius anterior. Front part, muscle that runs down the shin. Not a lot of people train these. But I would say if you want bigger calves, you should be training that muscle there because you're going to pop out. Why not? So the goal is the goal. So what you're going to do is put your foot here and you're just going to be bringing it up all the way down. Obviously that is not really going to do anything. So you can get a kettlebell or a resistance band. Bang it onto the foot, you can hold it. Boom. And then if you can see that, boom, that muscle right there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and do three seconds down, one second up, hold it for a second, two or three seconds down, all the way up. We're going to do like 12 to 15 reps, I think. I'm really not sure. So James, I can tell that he's never done these before because he's, I can see on his face, he's like, what the hell? Anyway, let's see. Let's see if we can see the muscle work on his calves. Big arm, big forearms in the way. There you go. Might not put this in because your calves are making me feel depressed. So I might just cut this out. <laughs> yeah, feel that. In the shin. <laughs> yeah, that big muscle that runs down the shin. Might be good if you do more Thai like as well. Combat sports like James, what have I said about talking on my video? Come on James, hobble over here. Let's see what we look like. Wait, let me do mine first because your calves making mine look really small. Okay, so quads, calves, not bad. But let's see James's now. Yes. Have to get in there. Yes. Okay, let me try this as well. Non-existent. Anyway, that's our session done today. We're gonna go upstairs. <laughs> Stupid calves. Let's look at these some more. Anyway, we're gonna go upstairs, do a little stretching area. Make sure you stretch after your sessions, because trust me, it's gonna help. I was stretching for years after my sessions, and it helped, and then for the last couple of weeks, I stopped stretching. And I really did notice that my legs, my muscles, should I say, hurt more. And there's always a thing, people said, should I, shouldn't I stretch? But definitely should, I felt it, that my body was battered when I didn't stretch after session. So, we're gonna spend about 10 minutes stretching our legs out, and that is our session done. So take care, see you for the next session. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but like I said, if you haven't already, if you've watched this today and subscribe to the channel, there's gonna be loads and loads of fitness-related videos in the gym.